Regulators! That's how Bob's used to wash everything, huh? Huh? I had to detail a car like that once. Cord, what do we got here, buddy? Look at it. All of our utility quads. All the 4x4 four four quads. We figured since in our previous video we talked about all our sport quads. It did really well, so. We figured we might as well do the 4x4s four as well. Which we got enough of them, don't we, buddy, between they all can. the family members. Not as cool as our sport quad collection, but you know what? It's still part of the collection. So we figured we'd uh, talk about them. All right, man, let's get started. Let's get started. You guys have seen this in videos. This is a 1996 Yamaha Wolverine. My dad bought it new. He sold it, then bought, bought it back. And uh, he's got some stuff you can say about it. It's his machine. It's so. just, it's my, it's my pride and joy. It's his mutter. Yeah. Uh, uh, Big tires on it? Bought it new 96, bought it from Superior Sports Home, Tri-City. Uh, Aftermarket tires and wheels on it. It's in good condition still? Mint condition. I don't know about mint. <laughs> kind of a kind of a cool little thing. We he actually got this one because the owner of that Grizzly, before he had it, he had a Wolverine. 95. And he and he really liked it. So that made him go get one. Granted it's just 350, she's not the most powerful machine, but 350 manual. She's, uh, wherever you want to go. She's a motor. Wherever you want to go. Alright guys. On to sure the next. Okay, so, as you guys know from our last vid, our newest addition, not ours, but one of our buddies, is a 2020 Canon Outlander 450. Brand new, guys. Brand new. How many miles, Eric? Only 181 miles on it so far. Only Can-Am in the bunch? <laughs> but yeah, she's mint, guys. She's a, she's a 450, but as you can see, it sits up high. Probably the one that doesn't that has the least amount of seat time, but uh, you know we got it two weeks ago, so yeah, we just uploaded that video, guys. It's only got about 12 hours. It's a nice addition to the collection. He seems to like it; it works well for him. And yeah, we're. I guess we don't really have a whole lot to say about it because it's literally brand new. So, <laughs> so what up, guys? This is my father-in-law's 2004 Claris Scrambler 500. Know. And as you as you can probably hear in the background, Polaris isn't a fan. It's the only problem with the machine, it's a uh, Polaris. Yeah, there's not a lot of Polaris fans here, but we have but I personally I don't care. I like Polaris. We're in Minnesota. Polaris have some good ones. They do. They have they have some good machines. But this is don't a say that. machine, guys. This, in my mind, can be considered kind of like a sport quad. You can run it just like it, but it's got four wheel drive. Super fun machine. It's in kind of rough shape right now. He kind of beats it pretty good. Best both worlds. Yeah, but it runs pretty good right now. It does. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Well, guys, this isn't really considered a four by four quad, but it's a uh, utility. We had to throw it in there. This originally was uh, my grandpa's Polaris. He uh, bought it brand new back in '96, I believe it is. Um, it's hardly got any miles on it. She's Man, it just so gets rolled around basically the yard. It's yard quad. 1996 Polaris Express 300, guys. Not Two a four smoker. Four, but we had to throw it in. Yeah, you guys probably oh, have have never seen it before, but yeah. Maybe. They may be seen it in the back. It's a good. It's good on the trails and stuff, though. We have other fam. It it. Yeah, it's a it's a nice quad so when we have family come up. You know, this is perfect quad for them. It's for fun. the guys that usually don't ride a whole lot. Yeah, it, ain't, it ain't a very wicked quad, you could say. So it's perfect for them. But it's a it's a it's nice for the collection, man. Huh? Yeah, we got some spectators back there. <laughs> Next up, you guys have seen we did that huge rebuild on this quad. Something locked up on it. Um, Cody did it. I did it, of course. <laughs> but uh, my buddy had a quad just like it. We bought it from him. Engines still worked on it. It was a pretty shitty quad. But uh, engines worked. We paid 200 bucks for it. Took that engine out of that quad, put it in this one. 
and she's back. And now it's back. So what is this? It's uh, the frame and everything is a 2003, right? 2002. The engine's in 2003. Okay, so it's a 2002 Kawasaki Prairie 650 with a 2002 650 motor. The only thing different about it. And we're still kind of grinding on this, guys. Because it's been... He, he, I've had it forever. He loves it. It's part of the family to him. But, uh... Yeah, what... 8,000 miles on it now. It wasn't that expensive to switch the motor over or anything. We only paid 200 bucks for the motor pretty much, so. It's just the manual labor we put into it. But she still got some kinks we got to figure out, right, old man? Yeah, that was a heck of a project, though. We never attempted anything like that before. But I know we really didn't post it, but it's up and running now. And it, uh, it's rocking. She's rocking. All right, next up, we got a 1995 Honda 4Trax. 300. 300. It's my grandpa's pride and joy, his machine. No. As you can, that's his pride and joy. Oh, okay. This was actually, I bought this brand new back in 95. Sold it to my dad. He gave it to my mom. You and it's just still going. It's a... Uh, it's a fun quad. Papa, it's, a it's a Honda and nothing's better than a... Honda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's just a fun machine to drive. You know, it being a manual. Yeah, uh, every time you guys see bombs on video, my grandpa, he's always on this machine, so... Yeah, guys, just a fun machine and a, another Honda in the collection. Another Honda. All right, guys, now it's time for the beast in the collection that uh, hardly gets rode. This is a 2007 Yamaha Grizzly 700. And this thing is uh, fuel injected. It's a beast. It's got power steering. And, yeah, you guys probably seen a video a while back ago. We, we got this out for the first time in two years. Cody's uncle doesn't come up a whole lot, and it seems when he does, it's always bad weather, so... Unfortunately, this machine doesn't get rolled a lot. It's mint coat, isn't it? It's mint. It's got maybe 700 miles on it. Yeah, I mean, he, he bought this brand new too, correct? Yes, he did. And it, it rides amazing. I really wish we could get this out more, guys. We're going to try. We're going to try to get uh, Big D to ride this thing more on camera. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. 96 Honda. And uh, I bought it in 96, and it's been an amazing machine. I just love it. I got the big wheels on her for good traction, and she runs it enormously well. Because why bombs? Because it's a Honda. <laughs> but uh, it's been a good machine. I had a chance of buying a Hardy Cat one at the time, and uh, they didn't have any, so I kind of went to the Honda dealer, and thank God I got the Honda. Yeah, guys, 1996 Honda Foreman 400 bombs. Like you said, he's got the big wheels on it. And uh, just recently, we got this thing out again, guys. So hopefully, we get to see bombs on it some more, right, buddy? Right. Cord, what are we doing now, buddy? Uh, all the quads are out. We figured we're about to bring the sport quads over, all of them. We'll take one big photo of it, the entire collection. So time to go get the sport quads, boys. Got them all now, boys. Man, Cody, quite, quite the lineup. You can leave Grammy in there. That's not even all of them, is it, man? No. There's no, a, there's a couple yeah. here and there that could join the group if they wanted. Yeah, three dirt bikes, two, uh, two little '90 scramblers. A, a, a '90 scrambler. <laughs> yeah. And a gator. <laughs> and a gator. I don't think the '90 scramblers will ever be in here. They're so buried in Lucky Shed. <laughs> That's a nice lineup though, huh, man? Hell of a lineup. So is this the part where you tell us the video's over, man? Is it over? Yeah, I think so. Well, there's yeah, our a good picture of them all. quad collection. Good day to bring them out.
Good day. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys liked it. If we'll link the sport quad video down there if you guys want to watch that. But anyway, we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.